$480 a month Time Warner internet connection. Take one. Okay, it's the middle of the day. It is 5 o'clock. This is prime customer credit card processing time. People showing up, us needing to look up tickets, all that kind of stuff. And here is what $480 a month gets you for internet. So you can see I'm trying to go to fast.com over there. And $480 a month for Spectrum Business Internet, where the hold times, if you call technical support, are over two hours, where you never get help, where and where there's no files, in spite of the deal that uh, rising out with the city. Look at that. Look at that. That is $480 a month business internet. Go! Look at it go. Look at it go. For those people who are wondering why I have not been streaming recently. That. Beautiful. This. This is why my streams have all been dropping from work over the past few days and why I have not been streaming. I know what you're thinking. Lewis, you're a business. You should have a backup in case something like this happens. You should definitely have some sort of setup where it goes over to a failover connection. We actually do have that. After paying $480 a month for business cable, we pay another about 100 something a month for Verizon Business DSL, which is about 3 megabit down, 0.7 megabit up, so that it will switch over to that. You may wonder, why is it not switching over to that? There was a break in a Verizon line about a few buildings over, and as a result of that, for about the past five to six months, there has been no Verizon DSL. However, that has not stopped us from billing for it every month in spite of us reporting it as a problem. So at this location, we don't pay for one internet connection at what, 480 bucks. We pay for two internet connections. One of them, 480 bucks a month, Spectrum slash Time Warner. The other one is about almost 100 bucks a month via Verizon. And of those two internet connections, there's zero of them that work right now. So they both go to this little nice little PFSense router I got up there that does the balancing. And this is a really good job. You know, if one connection is not working, it switches to the other. But the thing that PFSense can't do is if two of your crappy internet connections because you live in New York City where the internet infrastructure is garbage don't work, then you're just screwed, unfortunately. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. Don't move to New York. Online light blink. You have unlimited. You go, Time Warner.